Okay, we live in the crib, vibing with Vito. Man, I got a, I got a special guest on the, in the building today. You know what I mean? This is my brother, man. You know what I mean? Like, bro, I'm proud of you, dog. Like, you doing your thing, man. You know what I mean? I've been knowing you for years and shit like that. And how this, yeah, how this shit is coming together for you, bro, is like, bro, it's crazy to see. Thank you. Tell the people uh, who you are. Um, well, Trav, formerly known as the Cash Cow. I already know. Um, <laughs> I got a clothing line on an, an organic clothing line, Coated Leaf. And I also got a tobacco company, and I'm just here to trying to just spread, you know, brand awareness. That's dope, bro. So how did this shit come about, bro? Because, like, me knowing you, you always been the cash cow. Always been on your money shit, you know what I mean? But I I didn't know that you were into the clothing line and all of that stuff like that back then. You just always a fly nigga, you know what I mean? But it was just like, all right, cool. Let's let's talk about how this shit came about. All right, well, you know, as as you know, like, you know, back then, I always kind of, like, put that shit on. Like, no cap. You know what I mean? like, no cap. Always. Like, so, you know, it was just kind of um, a thing where I just started, like, thinking, like, man, you know, I'm tired of spending 500 to to $1,000 on a shirt that I can only wear three times. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, dang, you know, I get fly. How can I promote, you know, that my fashion or my fashion sense? So I said, mm-hmm. just come out with my own clothing line. And the reason why I chose T-shirts because that's the simplest thing that you can put on and still, you know, kind of put it together. Mm-hmm. And um, that's how the T-shirt thing came about, actually. Yeah, that shit, that, that's crazy, bro. So you've been in Atlanta for how long? About like 15, 15 plus years. And you from? New York. New York. Yeah. So that's the fashion capital right there know it. you know what i mean <laughs> new york like you could just have you could subtly flex in new york you know what i mean it still had that shit on you well, know what i mean i was wearing 200 dollars jeans in fifth grade you feel what i'm saying <laughs> like and it, it's it's crazy so like fashion has always been in you and around you you know what i mean so like you said like the shirts being the simplest thing mm-hmm. that just that just complements the outfit of course you know what i mean okay. you know what i'm saying so you did right by doing that, that how'd you come up with the name I mean, the name took me, it, it, the name really came about like on really like just guessing, just guessing on a few different things and a few different things led to the name and which was, you know, first thing, um, as you know, the clothing line is organic. Yeah, in fact. So um, I was thinking more of like a clean, clean fabric, clean, you know, name mm-hmm. kind of to run off with. So at first I thought like Windex, you know, okay. Windex is like a clean. Yeah, solution, yeah, facts. Right. So that was kind of like my runoff word. And then, um, but I said, nah, really, it means something. So mm-hmm. I said code. So then I'm like, dang, code and Windex. How could I put code and Windex together? Mm-hmm. So I thought codex. So okay. Then, but then I'm like, ah, yeah, 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 it's kind of cheesy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Seem kind of forced. Yeah. So um, that that day the conversation ended. It ended off with the codex word. And mm-hmm. that day, you know, I was just thinking, 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 thinking. The next day we got on a phone call and um, uh, they was like, you know, what do you, what did you come up with? And mm-hmm. I said, uh, coated leaf. Just right off the bat, just like that. And, you know, we ran with it. And once I said coated leaf, then the leaf symbol came as my mark. That know? shit is crazy. Yeah, that crazy. shit is crazy. Yeah. So was, okay. So you said you've been doing this for just a couple of years, mm-hmm. like in terms of like on like the official like business type right. level. But right. like you always knew you wanted the clothing line though. I always, okay. So, all right. Well, Vito, you know me. Like, like, you, <laughs> like you really know me. Yeah, yeah, fact. So um, as far as... uh. The entertainment side, mm-hmm. I, you know, I rapped. Yeah, you know, facts. We did shows together. Yeah, facts. Um, we did a lot of events together. Facts. And, you know, I seen you mobbing out. You seen me mobbing mm-hmm. out. I just felt like, um, you know, the rap aspect, it wasn't, it, I, I was good at it, but mm-hmm. it wasn't really for me. Mm-hmm. And I didn't want to be emotionally attached every day to my fans. Yeah, facts. You know, so that's why I kind of like leaned over to the fashion because I felt like I could put my personality in this piece. Facts. Either you like it or don't. Facts. You know, I don't got to be emotionally attached or facts. how do you feel mm-hmm. or, you know, uh, something that I might do or say might affect the right. way you right. look at me. Right. So that's why I kind of transfer over to the fashion, you know, kind of side of the, the entertainment. Man, that shit is dope. Like, even, like, looking at your page, like, going back to saying, like, like this is, like, you don't you don't even want to be emotionally attached, like, as a rapper. But, like, even with pictures, though, 
Right. That still tells the story. Definitely. You feel what I'm saying? So me looking at your page and like how it's it's so clean, like, you know what I mean? It's clean cut, the models that you use, everybody looks like, okay, you know what I mean? They're they're somebody, you know what I mean? Like sure. you still are putting your 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 emotions into that. Right. You know what I mean? But, Basically, but, yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying right, too. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm, I'm I'm definitely putting my emotions into that, right. But it's not like um my emotions in a piece and my emotions uh, into a song into a song is two, two different, different things. things. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Emotions into a song, like people can actually feel it and get a meaning. They, yeah. Their own definition. Facts. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. As far as a piece, you have to kind of explain it. Yeah. You know facts. what I mean? So that's, Without words. Without words. That, exactly. And that's, that's even harder than like doing a song. It is. You know what I mean? Like is. when people think about that, like. You putting together a piece that someone will like and someone will eventually purchase and wear, that is harder than me going into the studio and saying, oh, duh, 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 right. like, you know what I mean? Like, right. you got to make people look at this shit and, like, feel something immediately. Definitely. With, with clothes, it's a different game. And pe- I'll I be feeling like people think, you know, just by, like, jumping into jumping into certain shit, I, I, I don't think people, like, take take that into consideration. For sure. Like, with clothes, bro. You really got a goddamn, basically, it got it, two seconds. Two seconds. That's all you got. I'm looking at this piece. Nah, I ain't fucking with it. Look at the, oh, shit. Yeah, I like this shit, boy. What that is? You know what I mean? Right. It, but, but, but not not to cut you nah, off. Nah, you good. Um, You're right. It takes two seconds for a person to either like the piece or don't like the piece. Mm-hmm. But one thing with a product. Mm-hmm. Um, you could you could spin, spin around. You could spin back. Mm-hmm. With lyrics, it's like one song, they don't like it, they ain't fucking with you. Facts. It's it's hard to Facts. spin back. Facts. It's hard to spin back when Facts. you when unless you when, get a feature. Right. On, right. <laughs> you you better, what I'm go, better go get future on right. that motherfucker. Better get, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta get Pluto. Yeah, facts. So that that's that's kinda what I think is the difference. Um and it's you know, it's the same kind of thing, but that's what I think the difference is between a product and you being the product. Yeah. You know what I mean, right? So that you know, it's kind of it's kind of like a uh, they buy into you though, right? Like like so on top of that, you been you always been that guy in the city. Mm-hmm. Everybody fuck with you. You don't have no bad rap with nobody. Right. So like with you coming out with this, it's like hell yeah, we gonna support right. this shit. What? Right. Yeah, let me get that shit. Right. You know what I mean? Like right. you know, but so so on on that end, that's a that's a plus for you. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Just because I, of your representation, of course, and I, and I. And also with the rap, me rapping, I'm from New York, as you know. Mm-hmm. And me and my Atlanta base aren't as connected as some of these other rappers that's mm-hmm. from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, like, you know, it was, I did my thing, but I, I wasn't feeling connected. Right. You know? Right. Um, Shows rocked them. Mm-hmm. Feel me? I linked up with a lot of people, but it's just the culture connection. Yeah, it's it's different. It's way different. It is different. It's like with Atlanta, um, because I moved here when I was eleven, bro. Mm-hmm. Um with Atlanta, it's like you you have you had to be here when it was like the red clay. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? Like from the dirt type of shit to have like to have that cemented mm-hmm. fan base core mm-hmm. type, whatever. Moving here. It's it's kind of like oh yeah we yeah, fuck, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, right. we fuck with we fuck with you bro <laughs> right, yeah. but but we gonna go right. listen to Pluto again <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> we keep on putting Pluto in that Pluto, motherfucker Pluto like, from the pot <laughs> yeah 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 he from the apartments bro we go you know we go spin the block over there but you know what I mean so I but what what you did do good at I mean you had two bases you feel what I'm saying so now you can go back home with the shit everybody oh yeah shit yeah try from goddamn da 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 hell yeah right. oh yeah that's buddy shit right. so it's like it's gonna blow up either way Definitely. you know what i mean Definitely. um what were some of your biggest accolades you know what i mean uh like after the pandemic with this because i know you started around that time right after the pandemic kind of getting through that whole little shit like that what were some of your biggest accolades to now like in terms of like with your with your brand all right so i literally started from Maybe five T-shirts. Like it was literally like a twenty-five dollar investment, and um, and that was during the pandemic. Yeah. Um, I just bought five five pieces, and I told myself if I could sell these five, I could sell five thousand. Damn. So I went out and 
and I I didn't have like I didn't know the 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 logistics and the um the way to put up you know websites and, mm-hmm. you know my e-commerce I didn't know none of that I just did what I was used to doing mm-hmm. beating my feet mm-hmm. going to person to person like mm-hmm. hey I got this product mm-hmm. and like you know and to reiterate what you said like you know I, I kind of always had a good name in the street facts. Especially like, you know, with with other people who's doing things and stuff like that. So it was real easy for me to promote my pieces. Mm-hmm. Once that went, once those five pieces went, I said, okay, all right. Well, now I got um, a market. Mm-hmm. So let me double up. So I went and I just jumped out, jumped in the water. I bought 100 pieces. After after that, after my 100 pieces sold, you know, I said, all right, well, now it's time to make a website. Mm-hmm. Made my website. Things started rolling in, rolling in, rolling in. And, you know, now, you know, bank loans, easy to get. I'm filing taxes and stuff like that. And, you know, I, I grew from just having two, three pieces mm-hmm. to now I have a whole warehouse. That's dope. You know, and, and it was all like, um, like I said, like I didn't have like no major plan. I just had a goal, you know, right. and like make this product pop pop that was that was it like you know what <laughs> Bang, I'm no cap. Like, no cap. it was it yeah. was it was not it, i ain't had like a plan like all right we're gonna do this and we're gonna go to this influencer right. and that influencer they came to you they came to me they came to you i seen um one thing on your page i seen uh my boy fly guy dc on the radio yeah. you know what i mean shouted yeah. you out I, I was proud i was like nigga yeah. look at this shit oh and look not, at this shit right not here not only not only you know shout out fly guy dc yeah um but not only that, uh, Trinidad James. Trinidad. Did, did he a, a good nigga, bro. Excellent. Excellent. Good guy. Um, I did a collab with Trinidad James, and it was I went to his um, birthday dinner, and uh, I gave him some some pieces, and we'll go over it, go over it in a minute. Mm-hmm. But um, gave him some pieces, and that was that. And um, he didn't even really like say too much. That sound like Trinidad, <laughs> but 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 stand up nigga to stand up nigga. Mm-hmm. I, it, him not saying nothing said a lot. Mm-hmm. Like I am fucking with him because he do that fashion, right? Shit. Yeah, he like, do that fashion right. shit. So you know, for him for for him to accept me to come to his birthday dinner it was a private dinner. You know, he's a very private person. It was a private dinner, and for him to take my pieces and actually say thank you and to acknowledge that. I said, oh, yeah, he fucked with me. Damn. So, you know, we got a collab. And I want to show you guys. This is one. That's the one with uh, with Trinidad. Yeah, this is okay. the all gold everything collab that me and Trinidad did. Um, the material is fine. amazing. Yeah. Gold leaf. Dope. I like how this, this is like, it's stitched. Like, this is yeah, dope. It's sure. a good quality shirt, bro. Yeah. And, um. You know, um, you know, just kind of like, you know, just kind of linking up and linking up with people. And I haven't linked up with a lot of people. It's just, exclusive, though. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, they're they going to come to you. Like and, I said. And that's what I that's what I wanted. Like, I want I wanted something that uh, the masses would want mm-hmm. instead of, you know, me doing the most and, you know, overextending myself and burning my product because mm-hmm. you can do that. Mm-hmm. You, you could overextend yourself and. Your product get thrown down the drain. Damn. Burnt out. Right. You know what I mean? So I didn't want to burn my product out. So I was very strategic of who I linked with and who I let um wear wear my pieces. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Uh, that is it's it's similar to like the music because it definitely is. You do but, you do a song with the wrong person, right. then Ugh. You get they whole you get they whole shit. List. Yeah, I mean, I, I hate it's like that, but it's like that, bro. You know what I mean? Politics is in a lot of things. Of course, you feel what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, bro. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, but you know, I wanted to, you know, just kind of be aware of who um, I put my piece uh, in front of because mm-hmm. you know, I didn't want to burn my my product out. And mm-hmm. now that um, I have. Uh, made certain steps and um, mm-hmm. you know went about it a certain way. Now I mean, I'm doing at least ten, twelve thousand a month on the internet. You know? Just on the internet. Just on the internet, like, and you know, like my hand to hand sales. I was gonna ask you that. Um, before we even go, yeah. Hannah Hannah Hand website. 
which one would you like better? Like, I mean, because like even even I'm more like face to face. I like to converse with people. Yeah. Um, but all that driving and shit that 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 eats into your profit. Right. Of course. Meeting people. Definitely. So I'm gonna let you answer that mm-hmm. though. Okay. Hand to hand. All right. First. Website. <laughs> To kill the driving, I had meetup spots. Okay. So instead of me driving from place to place to place to place to place, I would post online from six to eight from six PM to eight PM, I'd be at this location. Everybody, whoever wants shirts or boom, 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 y'all meet me at that location. Right, right, right. So that 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 killed me having to drive and kill my profit. Cause at first I was driving. That shit hurt, boy. Right. And I'm in the, <laughs> at that time I'm in the G- GLE, AMG Benz, nigga doing this shit. Like, you feel nigga, me? Like, gas. out my trunk. Gas, You know? Boy. But, um, but yeah, I did the meetup. Started doing the meetups and cut that out. And then um, after the meetups, I'm like, well, my, my brand is getting too popular. I can't do meetups. And, you know, I'm getting a little bit more popular. And, this, you know, in the fashion world, I can't do meetups because it's getting dangerous. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's nighttime. I got mm-hmm. jewelry. Mm-hmm. It's that third. And so um, I started doing Uber package. Whoa! Yeah, let's let's talk about that before we move in. What what the hell is U- Uber Packet? <laughs> All right, so on the Uber app, mm-hmm. they have uh, a selection where you can click package, and they will come pick your package up and drop it off to wherever you need it to go. That's fucking brilliant. Yes. So and I and I just dis- I discovered that like just fooling around like man, I'm tired of driving. So I just started like googling like you know like. Um, I, independent companies or you know that picks up and at first with the independent companies they wanted to pick up bulk and I'm like dang I can't do bulk yeah. so I went on the Uber app and I just I, I ordered I ordered a regular ride and I, I asked the person I said it's just an item could you pick it up and drop it off and then that person explained to me hey go on the Uber app click package and we we can pick up your package and drop it off is that expensive though? Like, like okay. Well, I don't pay for that. The customer does. Oh right. shit! Yeah. So, so you tell them, okay, I can have it dropped right. off to you. Yeah. Go on the Uber app. Mm-hmm. Package. Here's the address mm-hmm. that they're gonna pick it up from. Yep. You fucking smart ass <laughs> motherfucker boy. Like, hey, 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 you brilliant, bro. You, know? you brilliant, bro. Nah, that's that's so dope. That, so what that does is that that all right. So, and um, and we're gonna go back to the hand to hand for sure. Um. And what that does is, all right, so today's algorithm Mm -hmm. in society, Mm -hmm. people are less social. So what that does is people stay in the house more. People don't want to interact, like physical interaction. They'll text digitally or, you know, over social media or, you know, the phones or this, that, and third. But physical interactions are, percentages are down. So... What I wanted to do is I still wanted to give a per, um, my clients that same physical interaction without having to be there. Mm-hmm. So what I did, I made it as easy as possible mm-hmm. for you to order and get your your uh, packages or your item or whatever. Mm-hmm. So that's how I went about the Uber packages because, you know, the social rate, you know, not a lot of people want to come meet you. Not a lot yeah, of people. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Not a lot of people... Um, and, you know, a lot of people don't have, it's sad to say, people don't have cars. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of Uber rides going on and stuff like that. So, you know, that was kind of my niche to kind of get to the masses without me personally having to, you know, see everybody. And it worked. Damn, this shit is crazy, bro. Like, I'm, pr- <laughs> I'm proud of you, bro. Thank Real you. shit. You, Let's you. talk about your most uh, popular items uh, besides the sh- the shirts. Do you have any other things that you oh, sell yeah. online that, that that's going crazy? Um, my tobacco. Do you have some with you? Yes. Let's let's show it. So, I saw you was is, with uh, is, my homegirl Cleo too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cleo, that, this is for you. This for me, nigga. Yeah, all, all, all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That boy there, boy. Look at that shit. <laughs> uh, hold up. First, let me see what I got. Bro. <laughs> let me see what I. This mine too. Yeah, that's yours. Man, thank, you, bro. <laughs> thank you, my nigga. All right, let's do this right here. Shout out Trinidad James. I'm gonna be wearing yeah, this tomorrow. Yeah, Trinidad um, James collection. So we got. All right, so we when I pull it out, you just tell what it okay, is. Okay, so. so this is um, our first uh, 
flavor, which is caramel cream. Okay. And this is these are like the wrap, the right. wrap. Okay. Pre-cuts. Okay. And we have also this is our second flavor, which is French vanilla. Okay. Um, and that's supposed to be kind of like our Russian cream, but I didn't want to do Russian cream because everybody did Russian cream. Is this hella popular? These these two are like Yeah. Okay. Well, this um tape French vanilla is my top um seller. Okay. So this one is the top seller. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Mm-hmm. Um then we have Holy Fanto, and that's that's natural. Okay. Okay. For my paper smokers. Okay. All right. <laughs> Then we got one more shirt in here. Yeah, well, I didn't know if he was a small or a medium. So. Okay, we still gonna show this yeah. same Trinidad um, mm-hmm. collab. Mm-hmm. Gold leaf, all gold, gold leaf. Everything. Damn, yeah. bro, I ain't gonna even throw the bag away, bro. I, <laughs> bro honestly, bro, I don't even want to take this out the bag, bro, because it's <laughs> like, like, you know what I mean? This shit is dope, bro. Like, damn, bro. Yeah, nigga, done brought me a goddamn gift bag. <laughs> like, they got it special as hell. Definitely, but you know everything is branded. Everything I try to brand everything. Nico gonna be smoking these, by the way. <laughs> um. Yeah, but I try to I try to brand everything. As, you know, it's down to the packaging. Mm-hmm. Um, just because uh, these office loan officers they mm-hmm. want to see the basically. Everything about your business. They want to know that, you know, that you take your business very seriously. Seriously. And now let's go back to, you know, the hand in hell and yeah, for e-commerce. Sure. Um I love hand to hand. Fire. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because you're a social person. I'm too. a social person. Um I'm very easy to like. Mm-hmm. I can talk to just about anybody, mm-hmm. you know, and I could kind of get the person's reaction right then and there. And mm-hmm. I know how to go about it when I meet the next person. Mm-hmm. Um, internet or e-commerce is 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 great, um, but me personally, I would prefer that all my sales be on e-commerce. And why? Because once you get to a certain level, mm-hmm. that money out the street don't mean nothing. Repeat that last thing, so so people can really hear hear this shit. Yeah. Repeat that last what you just said. Well, all right, so. The money out the street right. shit. Like. Once you once you get to a certain level, you know, w- whatever you're doing in business. Life money, period. Yeah, life period. Um, the money in the street means nothing. Um, explain. And I'm, I'm going to explain. All right. So, Vito, you know me. Mm-hmm. You know, and I've always been financially stable. Mm-hmm. Always had. Since we was young. Since we was young, you know. Always been in good cars and mm-hmm. always had the nicest stuff. But when I walked into the bank, I was a regular nigga. Damn. Now, me knowing what I know and me transferring all that street money or money I was circulating in the street to my e-commerce, now I can go to the bank and get 200000 business line of credit with no question. Because they see everything that they you do. see everything. My taxes, where the money's coming from, how many people are buying, you know, my monthly deposits and spending um, habits, you know, just things like that. And, you know, that's why I would prefer my money to go on e-commerce because, you know, I want to grow. I'm tired of using my money. Yeah, you know? facts, bro. I want to use the other people's money now. OPM. OPM. <laughs> <laughs> other people's money, you know what I mean? Damn, that shit crazy. And um, you know, before we get up out of here, man, like like first of all, congratulations, bro, on everything that you doing, bro, cuz I I've seen where you were in the past. Definitely. Again, you always that nigga. Definitely. But to see you on this and doing doing it the business way. This shit right here just make me happy, dog. You Definitely. know what I mean? To see Definitely. you like shining, Definitely. you know what I mean? Definitely. Um, in terms of like going to the banks and all this stuff like that. For average, I'm going to say for average nigga right. that don't have like that doesn't have the education first and foremost on how to attain money from the bank. What would you tell them? Like, what are the first? Let's just give them three steps in terms of like you have a business, you have an idea, but you just don't know what the fuck to do to get the capital. All right. First, you need to you need to open up an LLC. OK, that's first LLC. Then you get a Dunn's number. Got to have the Dunn's number. Got to have the Dunn's number. Mm-hmm. Once you have the Dunn's number. Just fund that account. Put whatever you think you need in that account, 500 a 1000 or whatnot. After you do that, you leave that in there for about about 30 days. 
and then you go get your credit card. Mm-hmm. Once you do that, you're you're in the system as flowing revenue mm-hmm. from the bank side and the bank's perspective. Mm-hmm. Once you do that, you file your taxes. Mm-hmm. Start filing your taxes. Now uh, the bank sees that you're, the money that you're getting, you're not afraid to file taxes on. You're not afraid to show. So now, now your hand is open. Now you just expose your hand to the bank. That's what right. the bank wants. Right. For them to give you something, you have to expose your hand. Right. And once you, exp- the more you expose your hand to the bank, the more that they give you. Yeah, Damn. For sure. Mm-hmm. Bro, <laughs> I ain't going to even cap, bro. Like, I, I knew this was going to be like one of them gems, uh, one of them interviews that one of them ones. But like, bro, this probably like, I would say, Nico, what you say? Probably like top, top seven, top, <laughs> top five interview, especially with the, give them top five. <laughs> You came with goodie bags too. Definitely. No cap. <laughs> hey man, tell the people where they can find you, big dog. Um, well, clothing line is one coated leaf. Um, that's on I- IG. The tobacco page is coated leaf uh, LLC. Mm-hmm. Um, my main page is Cash Cow four twenty Cash Cow. Um, and you know www.coatedleaf.com. You get all the org- organic clothing line. You get our special collab with uh, Trinidad James is on there as well. Um, and that's, yeah, that's just, you know, where you can find me. Just follow the yellow brick road, man. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Hey, look, man. Again, I appreciate you for, Definitely. man, look, taking your time out. Because you were saying, you like, hey, bro, you don't like to meet people and shit. Like, you, you know what I mean? But, hey, you took your time out, came and vibe with Vito, man. Again, this has been another episode with Vibing with Vito, man. Y'all make sure y'all go and get Cody Leaf, um, the collab with uh, Trinidad James. And if you want to smoke, son, smoke some of the finest, make sure you fucking with my boy, man. And we gone.